Hey everybody, this is Eric Brady with Seattle Sound Home Inspections. Just working on the plumbing project today, continuing uh, with the repipe for the galvanized plumbing. You can see here that there's copper piping that was added at some point, and uh, we're gonna need to cap that off when we abandon the galvanized plumbing and switch over to the new PEX system. But we opened this up and uh, I did an extra large cavity just so I could find all the plumbing and as a bonus we can uh, go ahead and insulate this rim joist cavity. You can see in here there's just no insulation, maybe a little evidence of condensation and moisture. Uh, that would happen typically in the winter when that, that wood is at or near freezing and then the heating system in the house is running and running and running getting uh, you know, keeping the house warm. So in these mid-century modern homes, two-story homes in the Seattle area, we have ducting that's typically run between the two floors. Here you can see the vent box for the master bathroom above, and here's a vent. This metal is gonna be at 90 degrees when the furnace is on, and like I said, that area out there could be near freezing. So you have lots of temperature difference in the winter, and you can get condensation. Food plus water typically can lead to issues with uh, biological growths, you know, fungus, uh, molds, things like that. And we, we've been trained to identify mold as an issue that we would call in a home inspection for further investigation. You can see some black spots here. Uh, this is not something I'm particularly concerned about for my own health. We're just going to go ahead and uh, address the moisture issue so that uh, it doesn't continue being an issue. Now, this house is 50, 60 years old, and obviously that's not exactly what we'd consider an extensive growth. Um, you can see evidence of moisture here leaking out of the box, and maybe, you know, occasionally some water gets in that box from the shower above. So we'll probably use expanded polystyrene to fill this in, or polyisosuranurate. It was just a, a foam board, and that can be foamed in there and sealed off in order to provide some R value. By the time we're done with this, this will be some of the best uh, insulated parts of the house. And we'll take care of that and we'll have access to this. We're, we're finishing the refinishing the ceiling in this room anyway. So while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this other chore. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good one today and I'll post some pictures and maybe a video when we get it finished. Talk to you later, bye.